In this video shared by Dr. Gabriel Castillo, we discuss the foveal repositioning macular hole surgery. Surgery for macular hole is one of the most commonly performed vitreoretinal procedures. The first step is to achieve a good PVD creation, followed by an ILM peeling, typically aided by the application of brilliant blue dye. Aiming for higher closing rates, various modalities, such as inverted flap, free flap, lens capsular flaps, and a subretinal blebs technique, have been employed. Furthermore, alternative strategies, including autologous retinal transplants and amniotic membrane transplants, have found utility. The Manchester Large Macular Hole Study, published in 2018, underscored the remarkable success rates of standard macular hole surgical repair, particularly for holes measuring up to 650 microns in diameter. We bring here an additional maneuver added to our surgical practice that may improve the closure rates, which we call foveal repositioning. We demonstrate the use of an instrument that has a smooth, bulbous tip, which would be atraumatic on the surface of the retina. After the ILM peeling, the instrument is used to gently relax the retina around the hole in a centripetal manner, reducing the hole to a transverse slit. This maneuver can also be performed with a silicone soft tip cannula and applied to macular holes of all sizes. Illustrated through a patient case, we present pre- and post-OCT images following the foveal repositioning. The post-OCT reveals significant restitution of the foveal region, marked by substantial restoration of the ellipsoid zone. The patient achieved great visual acuity and an exceptional anatomical outcome. The integration of the foveal repositioning technique into our surgical repertoire represents an advancement in the outcomes for idiopathic full-thickness macular hole surgery.